By my reckoning, we should reach Norfolk Island in four days. What's the tally to date, Mr. Towers? Fifteen prisoners dead, sir, and five of the crew. You're to be congratulated. Only if I'd saved them, sir. No, no. The sauerkraut kept the scurvy down. It did, sir. Move, you lovers! Hold your course. Aye, aye, sir. What the devil's he got to? Forty-one! Forty-one! Put your packs into it, you idle villain! Why, heavens, I'll make you skip. <laughs> Get up, or I'll have the skin off your back. You'll hang for this. Maybe. On your feet. You're mad. Your keys. make a sound, Harry, I'll kill you. You haven't a chance. Not much of a one, I'll agree. <sighs> Hands behind your back. You've signed your own death warrant. If you want to stay alive, Harry, I'll keep your mouth shut. I don't intend to miss your execution. Yes, it's loaded. Call the base. Don't lose your head, Harry. Now what? Your keys. No. Yes. Hands behind your back.
What the devil are you up to? What does it look like? Mason! Take Manus and O'Brien down to the armory and break out the muskets. There's to be no killing. That's what you think. I'll make this short, Mason. I saved your life and took 50 lashes for it. No killing. Understand? No killing. Now listen to me, 41. My name is Jack Vincent. You don't have a name. You forfeited that right when you broke the laws of England. You're a hypocrite, Mr. Tarns. But those men you sent overboard. Mr. Anderson and his officers are my private prisoners. So is the boss. As for the rest of you, you have a choice. Join us or join them. Any trouble in your shark mate? No! You see how popular you are, Harry? This man is a mutineer and will hang for it. And so will any of my men who side with him. Take them below and lock them up! Evening, Lieutenant. I trust you're not finding your new quarters too cramped. You can't sail this ship with that rabble, and you know it. There are six seamen amongst that rabble. And the press gang men have sided with us. You thought you'd break me, didn't you? Now look at you. We'll see. We're about 300 miles west of Norfolk Island. Oh, yes, sir. Cabin boy's been looking over your shoulder. And where will you make for? And what about me? What about you, Harry? You're hardly the life and soul of the party, are you? Murder. Is that it? A chance to find out if you're as good a seaman as you think you are. Like Bly. Just like Bly. Only you haven't so far to go. William Bly is now governor of New South Wales. Twelve of the mutineers have been captured and three have been hanged. You're a mine of useless information, aren't you? If you miss Norfolk Island, you'll find New Zealand 500 miles further south. Here's your picnic hamper, Lieutenant. Don't keep it all for yourself. What flag will you sail under? Skull and crossbones? Argos! I've not much time for flags, Lieutenant. They seem to bring out the worst in people. I'll fly this one on the day you hang. Good way to get up! I'll find you, Vincent, however long it takes. That's no duck pond. Wherever you go, Vincent, I'm coming after. And I've got something to look forward to. <laughs> <laughs> Should have 
Qatar Israel. We have a choice. Stay in the Pacific. Or cross it. Cross it? Where to? The Americas. Glory be. Cross the Pacific? We make for Fiji. Then to Samoa. Turn north for the Hawaiians. Finally, the long leg to California and Mexico. You're crazy. Four months. Four months. We've already been on the stinking hulk for seven. Yes, as prisoners. Now it's ours. Where else do you fancy? New South Wales? So, what do we do in America? Move a ship and a crew. <laughs> you call that lot a crew? No, but I'll turn them into one. You're another Anderson. If we're to survive, we've got to turn these convicts into seamen, keep them busy, run them off their feet. You. You ran the best gun deck in the Navy before you hit the bottle. Help me. Any trouble, you jump on it. Hard. Because if we don't, if they run Ryan, we're finished. Two ounces of ship's biscuit and half a cup of water. That's all we're having. Person? Sir? That's not enough, Mr. Anderson. I know that, Mr. Thomas. We'll set watch and watch, Mr. Flack. Aye, aye, sir. First man to sight land gets a cup full of rum. There'll be a tot for everyone at dawn tomorrow.
कुछ कर भाई चल O Lord, our Heavenly Father, almighty and everlasting God, we most devoutly thank Thee for our preservation from the storm and grant through our blessed Saviour Jesus Christ that Thou continue to show Thy mercy towards us and lead us through these perilous waters to a safe haven. Amen. Amen. Look! We must be near land! Norfolk Island, Mr. Anderson. Unlikely. Three days of storms have driven us too far south. Was drowned. I said I was the only one left. I thought the same till I found you blubbering on this here box. Do you think there might be others? I don't know. Half of them never got on deck. Michael is dead. She went down so fast. There must be others. No must about it. Where are we? Could be the moon. And I always thought I'd be blown to bits by the frogs. That's a laugh, ain't it? <clears throat> the men want more water, Mr. Anderson, sir. Keep rowing. Said, keep rowing. After we've had water. Hoskins, isn't it? Now listen to me, Hoskins. And the rest of you. When we reach land, and we're going to, make no mistake. You'll have all the water you want. But until we do, we're sticking to one half cup a day. And I'll kill anyone who tries for more. You obey my orders, and we will live. You disobey them, and we'll surely die. Is that clear, Hoskins? Answer me, Hoskins! Aye, sir. And the oars. Sally Brown, she's a bright mulatta. Way roll and go. She we'll see that man's backbone when we get ashore.
Spared. Spared? I wonder. What do you mean? Savages. That's what I mean. Cannibals. Cannibals? I've heard. They're all over the Pacific. I hope there ain't any around here. And me preparing for sleep. A fine time to tell me I'm likely to be eaten. Easy, lad. Ain't seen no sign of him yet. I reckon it has showed up before now. You're just saying that to ease my mind. And that sleep now, I'm telling you. What's that, Mason? There's nothing. Crazy Pat. You were the cannibal. 